What's up, everyone? It is Tuesday, our favorite day of the week, and that's because we get to go out there and go Blu-ray hunting. I am super excited to go out there today, particularly to Best Buy, because there is a ton of brand new releases dropping, including Escape from New York on 4K, Beverly Hills Cop 2 on 4K, The Craft on 4K, Licorice Pizza, Hell or High Water, Lionsgate Steelbook. There are so many new releases coming out. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to find in store today. So it's going to be one of those trips where whatever I see is what I see and what is available. And then anything else that I want, I will consider ordering online. So we're going to do a very casual Blu-ray hunt today, but we're on a mission. We're definitely going to pick up some items. So my plan today, Best Buy, Walmart, and Target. So come on with me. What are we waiting for? Let's go. First stop of the day. I don't know if you can see it through the trees is Walmart. And the new releases at Walmart, Uncharted is still at the very top with the 4K. They still do have one copy with the Walmart exclusive trading cards, regular 4K, Blu-ray, and DVD. Here is Belle on Blu-ray. This is an anime title. Very nice slipcover. I like that. It looks good. They still have copies of Turning Red on Blu-ray and DVD. Dog, they do have Infinite. This is another brand new release today. 4K, Blu-ray, and DVD with a nice slipcover. Spider-Man No Way Home, tons of copies of that. Jackass Forever, they have a couple copies of Blacklight. Oh, there's the new Bruce Willis. Gotta highlight this one. A Day to Die, there we go. So if you need another Bruce, there's another title. Moon Falls at the very bottom. Scream 4K and Blu-ray DVD, and then Sing 2 and Cyrano. In the middle aisle of the brand new releases, they do have The Cursed from last week, The Cursed on Blu-ray and DVD, this movie Confession. There is Wormwood Apocalypse, that's brand new on DVD this week. Eternals, Resident Evil, but I don't think anything is going to be Land Shark. Look at this, Land Shark, and you thought it was safe on land. I'm so tempted. I'm really tempted because I want to know how a shark survives and attacks people on. Look at that thing. <laughs> how does it attack people on land? Like, what is the plot of this? I'm so tempted, but I'm not going to, but I'm so tempted. Oh my gosh, but I know my boys in Massachusetts are definitely most likely gonna pick up that, that title. I will be thinking of them later on today when they will be out in stores. Bull Shark is still here from last week. All the shark movies are coming out now. Dragon Knight, that's interesting. Clean, I believe this came out last week. I'm not sure if I featured it or not. So Clean with Adrian Brody. They do have uh, Top Gun on Blu-ray. So regular Top Gun on Blu-ray, Top Gun Maverick is coming out in a couple of weeks. So if you haven't seen the original Top Gun, what is it, $14.96 here at Walmart. I believe it is cheaper on Blu-ray.com, so check that one out. Let's see what else I could find. Oh, they have Licorice Pizza on DVD for $17.96, but no Blu-ray. That's definitely one of the ones I want today, so hopefully it is on Blu-ray at Best Buy. More Bruce Willis, more Easter Bunny Massacre. Ooh, they still have a couple of copies. Oh, should I get it? No, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Megalodon Rising. They should just have a complete shark row of all shark movies. But everything else is pretty much the same, so I'm not seeing anything here that I'm going to pick up, and it's time to go to Best Buy. I am so looking forward to seeing what I could find in Best Buy today. I gotta be honest, with Walmart today, I wasn't expecting a whole heck of a lot because it seems like all the brand new releases are more specific for Best Buy than Walmart or Target, but I guess I was kind of surprised that they did have Infinite and that new movie, Bell. But I was disappointed that they did not have Licorice Pizza on Blu-ray because that is one of the items that I do want to pick up today. They did have DVD. It had a great slip cover, but that's just not my format of choice. I always want Blu-ray or 4K. So let's move on. Now we're going to the mother. We're going to Best Buy. Next stop of the day is Best Buy. Come on, Best Buy. Please deliver this week. 
And the new releases at Best Buy. Scream is still at the top. We have some empty spaces, but I do see Beverly Hills Cop Part 2. Very nice slipcover with Eddie Murphy. I didn't get the first one on 4K, so I'm not going to pick up this one. I'm going to pass because I do have the trilogy on Blu-ray already. Still got Eternals. Still got a couple of steel books. I don't think they're ever going to be able to get rid of those, honestly. Spider-Man No Way Home. Dexter. Still have a couple of box sets of The Hunger Games. Shang-Chi. But I need some more of those new releases. So let's go to the other side. See what we got. Okay, we still have Jurassic Park and World from last week. Plenty of copies of Come On, Come On. Smoke and Aces Steelbook. Moonfall. There's actually a steel book back in stock, and it's down to $31.99, just so you guys know. They do have Infinite on 4K for $21.99, and they have Hell or High Water Steelbook for $19.99, also a brand new release today. Uh, I won't be picking that up because I did pre-order it, so it should be at my house later on today. They still have plenty of copies of Uncharted on 4K and also on Blu-ray. And, of course, all of those usual suspects that we see week after week. So let's head on over to the back and see if I can find anything brand new over there. In the new releases in the back section of the store, Turning Red still at the top. They have one steelbook available along with Matrix Resurrections. All four movies on 4K for $84.99. That's still too expensive. 12 Monkeys. Here is a brand new release today. Extreme Prejudice, another Vestron title with Nick Nolte for $11.99. So cheap. That's one of the great things about Vestron. Their titles come out and they're just so, so cheap to buy. Let's see, more Eternals, Kingsman, still have those box sets, but I'm looking for new releases. Yes, here we go. The Craft and Escape from New York on 4K. I'm getting both of these. I have to. The Craft is a definite, and then Escape from New York, yes, I'm definitely going to get that one as well. Let's see. I'm not really seeing anything else that's brand new today. Still have plenty of copies of Frankenstein. I think because there's no slipcover, no one really wants it. They still have La La Land Steelbook, The Howling, Last Night in Soho. They have one copy of Escape from LA. It's $18.99 if you guys are interested. Red Rocket, Shang-Chi. Oh, here's Bruce and his brand new title. Here, I can show you this one better. <laughs> there we go, A Day to Die, a brand new Bruce Willis title with Kevin Dillon and Frank Grillo. Price for this is $13.99, not bad. So if you wanna support Bruce Willis, then there you go. Pick up his new Blu-ray. They still have Black Light and also The Cursed and still that one 4K of Singing in the Rain. No one has picked it up yet, just me. And they also have Bell on Blu-ray. Before I leave Best Buy, I actually do want to point something out to you. So I was looking around and I couldn't help but notice that the last duel on 4K is marked down for $17.99 at Best Buy. If you guys have not picked up this title, definitely snag it right now. It's a very underrated movie from last year. I watched it and I really enjoyed it. It's based upon true events, so I do recommend that you pick up this title, especially for that cheap of a price right now for a 4K. So I did just want to point that out to you guys. That was an amazing trip to Best Buy. Not only did they have pretty much every single one of the brand new releases in stock, except for Licorice Pizza, I will be hoping that Target does have that in stock when I go over there, but also the 4Ks on sale for only $17.99. I did post this on my Instagram page at Movies and Sue, so definitely head on over there and follow me if you are not already. You're definitely gonna wanna check out what is on sale. So we're not done yet. One more place to go. We're going to Target. Hopefully they have licorice pizza. Last stop of the day is the Target. We're going into Target. We're going into Target. And the new release is at Target. Uncharted is still at the top here as well. Dog is too. They do have Bell on Steelbook. I guess this is a Target exclusive. So if you guys were interested in this and you want the Steelbook version, it is available at Target for $24.99. They do have Infinite, but only on Blu-ray for $16.59. That's actually not a bad deal for a Blu-ray for a brand new movie. 
and they still have Jurassic Park and World on 4K, 1999 a piece, plenty of copies of Turning Red, as well as the Target Exclusive Edition, and also Moonfall and Top Gun. Over on the side with the new releases, plenty of Screams and Death on the Nile. We have a Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous animated, I guess. Cyrano on Blu-ray, Sing 2, plenty of copies, and 4K, but I'm not seeing Licorice Pizza, so I'm actually going to ask an employee if they have it in the back, because they should have it. Back at home, it's time for me to show you what I got when I'm out today. And I apologize if you can hear my fan in the corner right now, but I absolutely need it going into the summer months, the next three to four months, you're gonna hear it. Because otherwise, this face, gets red as a tomato and you have seen it, it is not a pretty sight. I'm just trying to look quasi normal on camera as much as possible. So when I sat down to film this little portion of the video, I happened to notice out of the corner of my eye, a white delivery van show up. So I stopped filming. I went and I picked up the package and it was the Hell or High Water Lionsgate Steelbook. So I can show you that today. I'm super thrilled. Now, as far as licorice pizza goes, was it available at Target? Unfortunately, it was not. I asked an employee, it was not in stock yet. And I did not see it at Best Buy either. They did have the DVD at Walmart, but no Blu-rays. I'm kind of wondering if there's some kind of delay with that product. If there is, maybe I can pick it up with it within the next week or two. That would be nice because I didn't get to see that during awards season and I would like to check it out. So what did I end up getting today? I'm super excited about all these. Escape from New York on 4K. I was thrilled to see this in Best Buy. I did not think I was going to at first, but then I'm like, well, this is a Scream Factory title and Scream Factory titles have been popping up in Best Buy. And then I rounded the corner in the back and there it was. I was super excited. So I have Escape from LA. It only made sense for me to buy this one. I've never seen it. So I'm super looking forward to finally watching this and giving it a view. And then right next to Escape from New York was indeed The Craft. I love this movie. It's one of my favorites from the 90s. I love this cast. It's got Nev Campbell. What's not to love about this? And to finally have it on 4K, is so awesome. However, my one complaint, if I were to change anything, I really wish they would have done a little bit of a different cover artwork because it's the same as the Blu-ray. So to have something a little bit different would have been nicer, but I'm happy for the upgrade. I really can't complain. I found it in store. Now my last item, I already mentioned to you, it is the Hell or High Water Steelbook from Lionsgate. They are absolutely continuing to kill it. I think this is one of the best ones that they've done yet. They're all fantastic. It's going to get to the point where I'm going to make my, my Lionsgate Steelbook collection video because they're just absolutely amazing. But this one in particular looks fantastic. I've never seen one like this before. It's great. So there is the front. There is the back with the slip cover, and then just really, really quickly, if I can get it off, there we go, to show you what the actual steel book looks like. Incredible. Ba, ba, ba. There you go. So I am super psyched to finally add this into the collection as a steel book collector. I just, I'm just so excited for all of these. I think they look amazing. So these are my pickups for today. And in fact, I'm gonna get a little bit more interactive with you guys because you know, every single Wednesday, I put out a new release review. So this week, and I think continuing, I'm gonna let you guys make the choice of what movie I watched for the review. So here are the options, Hell or High Water, Escape from New York, or The Craft. I'm gonna put up the poll on the YouTube community tab. So cast your vote, what review what movie do you want to see me review tomorrow on Wednesday? So that's everything. Sorry, I've been talking and I'm like, bleh. So that is everything that I picked up today. But the bigger question is, what did you find when you went out today? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you next time.